in the United States of America, a country that practices the presidential system of government, has, has her political activities characterized with different political parties, approximately five, but by de facto, just two exist, and they are regarded as the major political parties, which is the Republican and Democratic Party. Albeit some other political parties still exist, uh, but the popularity and dominance of the first two made it seem like a two-party system, just like Nigeria's All Progressives Congress and the People's Democratic Party. Now, with the similarity of the de facto two-party system between Nigeria and the United States of America, there is a very sharp contrast in both countries' uh, political ideologies. While the former is dominated with politicians and political parties with little or no ideology, the latter has politicians and political parties strictly adhering to their ideologies. Joining us live to take a look at this matter is Remy Shonaya, former presidential candidate of COA. Uh, good to have you, Mr. Shonaya. Oh, I apologize. Good to have you, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Remy. Professor, can you? Yes, please. <laughs> I apologize profusely. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. All right. I believe you are not you are not coming across the observation that politics is devoid of ideology. What do you make of it? Well, I mean, uh, the, the, that ob you mean I'm um, coming across the observation. People, a lot of people are saying that Nigerian politics is, is devoid of ideology. And I believe it's because of the way in which the two major political parties have been carrying on. Uh, that is the conclusion that, that one is, of course, forced to reach. Uh, because um, just look at the Edo State situation. The PDP candidate, the last time is now the APC candidate now, and, and vice versa. It's all about individuals it's about personalities it's mm -hmm. not about ideas it's not even about service to the people right it, professor it, shania it's about people contesting among themselves mm -hmm. i mean you you yes. were seeking for a political position at some point were you seeking the presidency actually uh were you seeking to remedy this, uh, this void when you got involved and if you were how were you uh, going to do that amidst all that we see the political space in nigeria well, You see, the problem is that even uh, the, the followership does not seem yet to uh, realize what is good for, 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 for us as a people, we the citizens. Mm -hmm. You know, because we keep, um, we keep voting in the candidates uh, that have not performed, we keep voting in parties, you know, maybe not even the candidates, parties that have not given us any improvement in our lives, you know, uh, poverty is increasing and, and so on. And yet the people keep voting in these same parties. When I got into politics, I did not want to be a part of that system. That was why I chose Koa Party, because I saw that it was a different kind of setup. You know, uh, we had ideas, we had values that we were promoting. And look, it, the fact that I was able to emerge as the candidate of COA party should indicate to people truly that um, COA party was different. I was not the one who set it up, you know, but everybody had a level playing ground and I was able to emerge. There were, you know, three other men who, who, who contested when, when I did. You know, so it, it, it is different. Uh, but unfortunately, that is not the system that the citizens uh, appreciate as of, as of now, because the citizens do not trust the politicians, and they just lump all of us in the same bag. You know, so when I went around campaigning and things like that, the question was, so what have you brought for us? So what are you going to give us so that we will... In, in, uh, in return, give you our vote. You know, so, uh, uh, that, that was Sad not mindset. my own idea of politics, mm. uh, beside the fact that I didn't even have that kind of money. You know, so of course, yes, I got into politics because I believe that Nigeria deserves better. Nigeria has better people, more capable people than 
you know, those that we see running our affairs uh, right now. Look at how, how well Nigerians are performing in, in different fields of endeavor around the world. But when it comes to politics, we are at the very, very bottom of the rungs, you know, of the ladder. Uh, th this, this makes one ashamed, you know, and, and there are people around the world, your colleagues, as you go for conferences and things like that, and they'll say, Remy, but there are people like you there. Look at, look at the, 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 the mess that is happening in your country. You know, so that, that, that was part of why I thought that mm. some of us, you know, uh, should, get, should get involved and, and not leave our affairs in the hands of this so-called political class who have a sense of, a, a sense of entitlement, you know, uh, 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 and who are just uh, concerned about their bellies and, and not about improving the, the, the quality of life of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Professor Remy, if I may also add to that as a question, um, why do we seem to gravitate towards power for the sake of power in terms of our leadership rather than power to serve, you know? I, I, I think that is a major uh, point of research, maybe, actually, for <laughs> our social scientists. You know, why is it that we, we just prefer, you know, power, you know, to, to be able to say, oh, this person occupies that position. And it's not only in politics. You see it across the board. People just want positions of power to be able to say, I occupied that, that position. You know, people ask me, for instance, why did you start at the level of, of, of the presidency? You know, why not start uh, at the lower uh, rungs and then seek to, to rise up? And my question is, those whom you have given the opportunity to, to lead you, who have experience, now what have they shown? What, what benefit have we derived from the experience that, that they have, they are supposed to have, have gotten people who had been maybe deputy governors, governors, and so on, senators, before they got to the presidency, even people who had been presidents or heads of state before. What is the advantage that we are deriving as a country from let you go. the experience that they had? Before you know, I let so you that's, go. That's, that's the question we are not even asking the right questions. Hmm. Right, We're not asking the right questions. Go, so we, we, we see maybe we just want to continue with the traditional rulership kind of uh, thing. You know, all these are traditional leaders. You, you don't question them. They get there uh, maybe on the basis of their birth and things like that. And, you know, in Yoruba, the, the king is Tabiosi. You know, you don't ask him any questions and things like that. So it seems as if that's the same way that the, the, the political uh, leaders are, are behaving. And we must, we must address this, these issues right. in the society. We, we must educate ourselves to know what, you know, political leadership is supposed to be. All right, before you go, what can be done going forward to remedy this and make politics about the issues rather than the men and even really about the women? I mean, you know, we have very little women in that space. What's the way forward? Yes, I, I think I already started to, you know, uh, talk about that. We need education, honestly. It's education, education, education. Our people are simply not... Uh, um, enlightened enough, you know, and I mean both formal and informal education, civic education. Mm -hmm. We need to engage with the people. I tried to do that during my campaign. I would go ask the women, I say, when you go to the hospital, either to take, you know, for your own uh, uh, sake, or you take a member of the family, the children, or you go to have a baby, are you pleased? Are you satisfied? with your experience in a public hospital, and they will reel out all the complaints and things like that, you know? And they say, ah, we are not, you know, please, we want all of this to change. Right. And all then right. after all of that, they will still ask me and say, you know, uh, but what have you brought for us? So what will we give you? What will you give us so that we can 
we, we can do a vote. So Professor, it, it, we, will, like there is a we will wrap it there. That we hasn't will, been made yet. We will wrap it there. Thank you so very oh, okay. much for your thoughts. Uh, we hope you'll come again yes, and um, well, thank you very much you know, be able on. to run and make the change that we're looking forward to in this country. Stay safe out there.